Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, Castillo stops at nothing to save his ex-wife from gangsters and dirty CIA officers in the episode Heart of the Night. On this week in Vice, we're taking a look back to when this episode of Miami Vice aired, from November 13th to November 19th, 1988, when Miami Vice was king. In news, mid-November is proving to be a slow news period, which is actually a nice break from the weekly plane crashes that seem to happen throughout the 80s. One moment of note is on November 16th, Jose Canseco was unanimously voted the AL MVP. Canseco had a stunning year of baseball and was the first player ever in the 40-40 club. Regardless of your feelings of the Bash Brothers in Oakland and the era of steroids in baseball, you have to admit, when Canseco and Maguire were at their best, it was a lot of fun. In music, goodbye the Escape Club. Thank God. Please give a standing ovation to Bon Jovi for moving Wild Wild West off the top of the Hot 100. The mega band is back with a new album and this song is one of their best. On the top of the Hot 100 is Bad Medicine, which is one of five singles from their album New Jersey. The music video even included Sam Kinison. In movies, unfortunately, They Live only held the box office for one week, but it's okay because it's replaced by another amazing horror film. Starring Katherine Hicks and Chris Sarandon is the slasher film Child's Play. The original film featuring Chucky, a murderous doll with the soul of a serial killer, the film was spawned six sequels and a huge line of merchandise. Gaining a huge cult following, Child's Play still haunts many children of the 80s nightmares. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.